All right, so today we're going to be doing Tiger camouflage. All right, so first we're going to need to do the stencils, obviously. I'm just going to draw them because I already have mine cut out. So I'm just going to sort of do it this way. All right, so whichever way you want to do it, you just need to keep it straight for two stencils. You want to do landscape or portrait. I'm just going to go ahead and do them like this so it's easier. Alright, so for the first stencil you want to sort of make lines, make them like like that sort of ish. Alright, so just sort of want to make it like little like waves sort of like that. Now there is one website, I'll try and put it in text somewhere in the video. And this one kid, he did a really nice job on his uh, stencils. So you can just go and print those offline. They're free, which is good. Yeah, and you get the idea. And it should... Like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's this is what you want your stencil to look like. So I did just like sort of little ways and sort of get that idea. Which is actually pretty hard to do. But yeah. And so you just want to keep them wavy and stuff. Like sort of like clouds looking like. And actually this is a horrible idea. Don't even and you never want to keep your lines straight or smooth curves because that it looks like it's perfect and you don't want it perfect. So, yeah. And again, I use really thick paper. I use this like sort of construction cardboard paper. Um, if you want to do it on your first time with a little printer paper, just get ready never to use it again because it will be really flimsy and stuff. So, yeah. And you sort of just want little, like, you want to look like someone dripped paint down. Sort of like, you know, someone just, like, took a paint bucket in the, and it just, like, waved down. And you want to try and keep it in uniform wave. And then, like, sort of mix it up a little bit, like, go the other way. Like, right here, you can see, like, this, this one goes in, like, a big, like, lump fashion. But then this one over here does the opposite. And then it's sort of linked together with this line right here. And you don't want to make it too busy because the black's going to go on top of it. So now if the black is even trickier. This is my black stencil. Um, this one, I would have to say you want to look like you want to make it look like there's twigs. Like, I'll try and find a twig. Alright, this probably has to be the worst analogy, but... Alright, this is the twig I found. And if you ever think back, if you've ever seen, like, the Disney cartoons, like... What's the one with the elves? Snow White? And you, all the spooky trees that are all sort of, like, growling, and they have, like, the little branches are going in and out and weaving everywhere. That's what you sort of want it to look like. So, as you can see, like, right here on this one would look like an evil branch or something. You have that one. And you want to sort of, you want to stay, like, oh, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I'll, give, I'll just do the website and then... Yeah, so it's really tricky camouflage to do. So like I'm just gonna pick off a piece of bark. Like that. You s can you see that? Not all. See that? That's the kind of design you wanna do. So 
light, you could find one. So you just like try and draw this on it. So like that. And then you could do a funkier different one. Like that. One. And you want to try and connect them together, almost like little puzzle pieces, like, but not like next to each other, sort of like how this piece right here fits in into this little triangle area, and then this head of this dragon looking shape one sort of fits into right there, and then like that piece goes into this little slot right there, and that one would come down a little bit. And so you want to try and link them together, but at the same time looking like shadow sort of but not like a human shadow where you can like see an outline defined head and when we put down the black you'll see how that shadow turns into a shadow so I just do this one like that Alright, now this one I drew right, these two right there are pretty good, but this one isn't, because it has this nice swooping line, and then it goes kind of perfectly, so you'd have to change that while you're cutting it out, so you do something like, like this curvy line right here, you can see that at all, so, yeah, and then tan is optional, I really don't like to use tan, because it sort of sticks out a little bit, but you can, and then the tan that I did was like this. So what I did, I can't really see that. I don't, I'm just going to do these post-its now because I'm, I'm going ghetto. So you can sort of see that, how it sort of like looks like scratch marks across it. And all, for this one, all you want to do is you just want to draw like little slits and stuff. Like that. And then you would maybe want to put one right here. I would sort of go into that one and then, you know. Like that, sort of. So, that's, I have it for this one. And then. Yeah. So then you have all your colors. And now I'll go to the painting section. Right. So what I always start off pretty much with every color is green. So I'm going to just do an 8.5 by 11 sheet of green. I tried to buy a uh, MP57 from Airspot. I saw they had a coupon code, but I waited too long and it expired. Today I was going to buy it. It's so annoying. It pissed me off. So I really don't have a gun to do. Now this one actually does turn out really, really cool looking. Depending on my friend's gun, I'll show a picture. I'll put a picture up at the end. Of it. So I just let this dry and then we'll go on to the next color. Alright, so I'm going to do tiger with tan and one without. So you can see I made the green a little bigger. Alright, so if you're going to do tan on yours, it's your preference. You can do tan then brown or brown then tan. It just depends how you want your leaves, sort of, so to speak, on it to look. So for the tan for the tan tiger I'm going to use the brown first. So you can simply place your brown and you're gonna spray. 